Hey guys, how's it going? It's Jewel Tolentino here. All right, so in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys an advanced technique in Camtasia to create a really cool, funky background. All right, so I got some inspiration to figure out to create something like this. I saw an ad, as I usually do, and I thought, hey, I wonder if I could create that and then do something cool with it. So this is what I'm talking about right here. Now, you might be thinking, oh, why don't you just get a picture of that? I'm sure you could find an image of that. And you definitely can, but if you find an image of it and if you don't create it from scratch, then you won't be able to do something like this or have it flash and change different colors. So I'm actually clicking back and forth on these two areas right here, the white shapes and the blue shapes to show you, give you guys an effect of a flash effect. So if you have a picture then, and you don't create it yourself, then you won't be able to do something like this and you won't be able to do other things as well. So let me show you guys how I created this. So this is actually, if I go over here, a bunch of shapes. Now I have a black background, which is just like this down at the bottom. And then I have a bunch of, first I have white triangles and then blue triangles that I kind of stretched out and they don't really look like triangles, but they are actually the triangle shape that I'm gonna show you in a second. And then each one of these is a separate shape that I have on the timeline here. And as you can see, it goes up all the way till 14. So, I mean, it is some work obviously to create it because you need to shape them and then go around in a circle, but it's kind of fun and it's neat to do. So let me show you how I did this. I'm gonna head over to annotations and then under shapes, if you go under all, then you can see all of the different kinds of shapes. And then you'll see that they have some triangles. Now, if you look really closely, you can see that there are triangles with uh, pointed tips and then ones that are rounded. You can see it more clearly on this one and this one. So this green one right here has a rounded tip and then this one has the pointed tips at the end. So you want to use ones with the pointed tips so that you can get this look here in the middle where it kind of looks like rays of sunshine. Now you can also use this as a background for yourself for a video. You can make this into an advertisement. Like if you put letters over this, this would look very vibrant and alive. Cat definitely isn't a cat eye catching um, piece of video for sure. But you want to make sure to use the pointed triangle. Okay, so this is the one that I chose initially was the blue one. And I'll go over here and you'll see this is what it looks like when you first put it on the timeline. But, and it looks like just a regular triangle, but if you stretch things out, you can see when I put it past the canvas, that it's not really looking so much like a triangle. And if you, what I did was I stretched it out and I brought it down to the center. And then you can play around with the thickness or make it how thin you want. And how did I do it over here? So I had, it actually not, it was actually a little bit thicker than this. And then I'll do a couple of them. I won't do all of them because it took me a good chunk of time to arrange everything. But basically what I did was I got the first one and I started from over here down at the bottom. And then I'm going to press control C and then control V because it's going to duplicate it. So now it's duplicated it and it's put it on top and you want it to go stack on top of each other so that um, they play at the same time. If you don't have these, if I don't have all the white ones stacked, they're not gonna play at the same time. You need to have them all stacked together. So 
I've duplicated it and now I'm going to grab it from the center because if you grab it from over here, if you grab it from over here, this is actually going to twist it and we don't need to twist it just yet. And you just want to grab it from here and you just move it over and then you want to tilt it. So you want to make sure that you hover over the green. Well, actually, you know what? Before I forget, I actually want to remove the shadows on these. I don't want any drop shadows um, because you'll be if you have a lighter color or if you have a white background, you won't see it on the black background. But if you have a white background, you'll be able to see this shadow that comes with the shapes. And I generally don't like it with the shadow. But I mean, you guys can play around with it if you like the look of it. But to get a cleaner look like this, I didn't, you had to take off the shadows, otherwise you would see it. So I'm gonna take off the shadow, and how you do that is you click on the shape, then head over to Visual Properties, and you click X on Drop Shadow. That's gonna remove it, and I'm gonna remove it off of this one as well. And so now when I copy and paste it, it won't have it because I already deleted it. So from here, you can twist it. Oh, sometimes it gets a little crazy with the twisting. You kind of lose control. But if you do, it's okay. You can actually use this here if you want to get more of an exact rotation. And then so I've twisted it, and now I just want to raise it. And I'm using my arrow key so that I can be a little bit more precise. And you can choose, you know, how much of an angle you want to do. But let's say that's good there. And then I want to copy, control C, then control V. And then I'm going to move this shape in place. I'm going to grab it from the center, move it just a little bit. Then I'm going to rotate it. I'll just do a couple here to show you so you guys can get the gist of it. And then you want to place it around where it'll slightly be. And now I'm going to use my arrow keys and place it in the center. And then you have to stretch out the back so it's off screen. And then you can see now it's starting to form. Now I do need to move this a little bit because if you look at it, you can see that this space is much wider than this space. How do I have it over here? Generally, everyone looks the same. And so I probably should move this one a little bit over and maybe, or I could move this one, angle it a little bit more in actually. Let's do that. So I've angled it and then I've, I'm moving it now. I need to move this one back up. Mm, okay, I need to move this one a little bit up more. Let's see. Okay, that's better. Okay, yeah, that's a little bit better. But you guys can definitely tweak and play around and then you would just go all the way around until you have something like this and like this. And there's many different things you can do with this. You can put a green screen and remove, like if you have yourself filming on green screen and then you remove the background and then this can be your background. Or you can put text on this, you can put pictures on this, you can put emojis on this. Um, you can do whatever you want with this. You can also put behaviors on all of these little triangles. So let's play around. I actually haven't done any of these. So let's see what it looks like when we put a behavior on all of them. It might look too crazy, but you know, that's how it is, is you need to test things out before you find what you like. So when you highlight it, it looks like a cool geometric symmetric thing. So let's add sliding and let's see if we can make this look interesting. It might be too crazy. I don't know, but let's see. Let's play around. I think actually they're gonna play, they're gonna slide in all at once. Okay, no, we don't want that. So then 
you would need to play around with each one and let's say I want this one to slide in from the bottom and then I don't want it to fade so none okay this one I want to slide in from the left I guess for me here and then none okay so I'll do this for all of them and then I will be back on the video here to play it for you guys all right so I'm done doing all of them it took me a little bit but now let's play it with the behaviors which are basically like animations and I've arranged each one so I made some of them come from the bottom left right top so it kind of looks like they're all coming together let's see how this looks you know it might look good might not but let's see okay so i'll play it here from the white and then it'll turn to blue let's see here Ooh, that looked kind of cool so they were all coming in together let's play again that looks kind of cool so that's, you know, that's what I do is I'm always just playing around in Camtasia to see, you know, what I can do, what you can create. It's really endless. So that is something that I thought of that I wanted to share with you guys. How to do this advanced background technique. Feel free to try it out in your videos. Alright guys, so if I was able to help you out at all, please let me know by giving this video a like, a comment, or a subscribe. All that would be very much appreciated. And if you want to check out the Camtasia software, you guys can head down to the description below. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Back, back, back from the dead.